We all know how crucial it is to back up your network configurations. Whether it is due to a misconfiguration or a security breach, having a reliable backup can be the difference between a quick recovery and a major disaster. That's why at Boundless we are creating a powerful solution that not only secures your network configuration, but it also lets you restore them with just a few clicks. Let's have a look at it. This new solution is powered by the Meraki API, which allows you to easily connect your Meraki organizations to the product and have their configurations backed up. You can either choose to back up the entire organization, which will save the, the configurations from old networks and templates, as well as the organization configurations, or you can select a specific networks and templates and just store those. Once your organization or organizations are connected, the system will start backing the configurations up. This could take from a few hours to a couple of days, depending on how many resources you're backing up. Backing up network configurations is a high API consumption operation, which might disrupt other API requests. If that happens, you can choose to temporarily pause your backup and resume it at a later time. Once your organization has been backed up, you can then access it and have a look at the different resources and the configurations that have been saved. Here we can find the organization level settings as well as template and network settings. Click on access backup in order to see the different snapshots and timestamps. On the resource backup page, you will see three tabs. The first one is a change log where you can see what has changed at that time. Then you have the backup where you can see all the configurations as they were at that timestamp, and then you can click on compare in order to compare it to different timestamps. If you want to restore a backup, you have two ways to do so. Either you can restore everything from that timestamp, or you can restore just one or two parameters or a few parameters from a specific timestamp. If you want to restore everything, click on full restore. And here you can see a difference between what the current configuration parameters are and what the parameters you're restoring are so that you can see what will change. You can choose to schedule the operation for later. So let's say that you don't want to disrupt your operations now. So you want to schedule this for after office hours. So you select that, click on restore, then click on got it and that's it the restore will be scheduled now if you want to just restore a few parameters from a snapshot you just need to select which parameters you want to restore so in this case layer 7 parameters uh, you see what the parameters are now and and the, what the restore parameters will look like if you're happy with this just click on restore and automatically the system will restore those parameters, those configuration parameters. An interesting use case is what happens if a network or a template gets deleted by, mis by mistake. In this case, the system will display this alert from which we can choose to recover that resource. For that, you just need to click on continue and start the recovery process you first need to select which snapshot you want to recover from. Uh, it could be the last one or it could be the one from three days ago. Just select it, click on restore backup. Then you will need to, to map the devices. Um, if you delete the network, the devices will also be removed, obviously, and taken back to inventory. That will happen before. So we need to put them back to the network. So we do so. And once we're good, we click on Add Devices and Continue. Now, once we've done that, we have a look at what changes will be pushed to Meraki. In this case, creating a new network, adding new devices from inventory, and finally pushing or provisioning it with, with the snapshot that you have selected, with the network configurations that you have selected. Once you're good, go back to the organization and you will see that the network is under recovery process. 
If you want to disconnect an organization from the solution, you can do so at any time very easily. Once you click delete, you place the organization on a deletion queue where it will stay for 14 days. You can decide to restore your organization from that deletion queue anytime by just clicking restore. After those 14 days though, if you don't restore the organization, all the backups and snapshots will be deleted. Finally, the solution includes an activity history panel where you can see all the ongoing activity and completed and pending activity. You can see which networks are being backed up, which ones are pending. This is because the API requests are going to be made one by one in order to read the configuration from your organization and have it stored in our solution. You will also be able to redeploy some operations from here and even in some cases cancel them. That will be it for this video. There are some additional features that we haven't covered, so I strongly recommend you book a demo if you're eager to know more. Visit balancedigital.com and schedule a meeting with our team. Thanks for watching and have a great one.